Good morning, good evening to all of you wherever you are. In today's video, we are going to take up a business analyst case studies and I'll show you how to identify and write user stories for the case study. So on the agenda, we'll first discuss what is a user story, format of the user story, I'll discuss the case study and then I'll show you how to identify and write the user stories. Let's start with what is a user story. It is a format or a structure to represent a feature of a software system from the end user perspective. The operative word here is end user perspective. It's a high level requirement capturing technique. It is used in the early stages of the requirements elicitation phase. What's the format? There are three elements to it. As a user role, I want to do something so that I can achieve some goal. So this is talking about who, which is the user role, what, which is to do something and why to achieve some goal. Let's take an example. As a user, I want to search for flight tickets so that I can find the right flight for attending a business conference. So this gives the perspective of the actual user of a system. Now, what better way than to look at a case study and understand how we can identify the user stories and then go about writing. First of all, start looking for the action words from the case study. As you can see here, there are certain action words like manage its products, customer orders, manage payments, manage employees and manage its vendors. That is in the first part. In the second part, you can see the visitors can search for a specific component, compare with alternatives before adding it to the cart. Then you can also see place an order online or place an order through a call. An invoice will be sent to the customer and once the payment is received, a receipt will be generated and sent. So you can see that these action terms are being underlined and the functionalities are being identified one after the other on the right of your screen. Which means that in any customer note or business requirements document, you need to start looking at functions which are represented by actions. These are the things which a user will perform on the application. Now the next step is to identify who is going to do these actions. Let's take three examples. First one, manage products. This will be done by employee. Next one, search for component is a visitor. It's not necessarily a customer. You don't need to be registered or a customer of this website to search for something. In this case, this is a company which is selling auto parts online. Third one, placing an order online, which is obviously done by a customer. Now let's write the user stories for each one of them. For the first one, manage products. I have picked up one part of it, which is to update the product categories. So as an employee, I want to update the product categories so that I can upload new products of a new category. Second one was search for component by a visitor. So as a visitor, I want to search for a product so that I can find the required components for my vehicle. Third one, as a customer, I want to place an order so that I can get the required components for my week. So as you can see, you can go in a very systematic approach of identifying the functions, identifying the user and then writing the stories. In the next video, I'm going to tell you how to differentiate between a good user story versus a bad user story. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.